Hello YouTube, this is Dave, amateur radio operator N0MUA, Stillwater, Oklahoma. I've had a lot of people ask about a video, another video, this is my second one. This one is in our new house in Oklahoma and uh, the other one was in Coffeyville, Kansas. I've got two towers up, they're both Ron 25G towers. One's uh, 50 feet and the other one is uh, 70 feet of tower and then I've got a uh, mass going up above them. Uh, the tallest one is for FM use only, uh, 2 meter FM. And here's the base of it. It's a homemade hinge plate and then it's got a, a battery set up there and operates a 12,000 pound winch that lowers the tower up and down all in one motion. It cranks, cranks it down and, and up pretty easy, pretty nice, works real good. I kind of went over and did it a 12,000 pound just to make sure the braking system was good on it. And uh, buried in concrete there, you undo five nuts and it just hinges right over. And this is a Ron 25G tower, bolts together every 10 feet. And there are six straight sections, one coned top section, so there's seven sections and then a mast up on top I think is 14 or 15 feet. The cable going up, there's three cables, a uh, LMR 400, a rotor cable, and a 7 8 hard line. This is the top of a four and a half inch pipe, which is the pulley on top and the winch cables. And then it's got supports, two supports going into the concrete back behind the four and a half inch gin pole which is a must because that pole will not handle the weight then you go up the tower and the cable runs about 60 feet to the top of the tower and then comes back down along the tower to another pulley and goes back to the gin pole it's guide four directions up on top is m squared 12 element stacked beams four of them these beams are 11 feet from side to side and 11 feet from top to bottom. And they're all tied in together as one antenna. A gain is around 21 dB gain. Uh, right above that, the top antennas are at 80 feet. Right between there is a GP9 Comet. And uh, the very top of it is 90, 95, 97 feet, the very top of the antenna. And uh, it's all for FM, two meters, covers the whole band. Works really good on 146.52. I've got 35 states contacted on 146.52. And it uh, works real well. And uh, I have another second tower. We'll be going to it here directly and looking at it. You can kind of see it there. It has a six meter antenna and two meter antennas for sideband. And they are horizontal for sideband. And here's that tower. It's got a I didn't make that base plate, but it works real good. It's a little, not as strong as the other one. Of course, it's not as high tower. It's uh, five sections, and then it's got a mast going out the top. And this also has 7 8 hardline ran, running to it. And it's just temporarily right now on the, uh, the way I've got that ran. That's the six element. Uh, for six meters and here are your, my two stacked 
M squared 12 element beams for two meter sideband. The top one there is about 70 feet and then it drops down 11 feet for the other stacked one. The little pole on the right hand side, little fiberglass pole is for 80 meter dipole, which uh, works, works fairly well. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. May be doing more videos, so please subscribe. Thanks.